Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click the notification bell and then come back and check out some of the other content I have on my channel. It is Thursday, February the 15th. Our devotions are coming from the Bible Promise Book Devotional for Women. And we are in week seven of the year 2024, and our focus this week is on forgiveness. So our devotion today is entitled, A World Without Compassion. Our scripture comes from the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 32, 432, <laughs> um, out of the NIV, New International Version, and it reads, Be kind and compassionate to one another forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. Let's get into this. Imagine a world without forgiveness. The ancient feud between the Hatfields and the McCoys seems tame by comparison. Wars would be the norm, not the exception. Everyone would push for a vendetta against others. There would be no kindness. There would be no compassion there would be no trust. In this alternate world, you would exist without empathy for others, without meaningful relationships, and without hope for something better tomorrow. Wow, that paints a very grim picture for sure. Followed to its natural conclusion, payback would be required for every offense, hatred for every slight, and revenge for each infraction. Yet, there's a wise God who instructed you to do something unnatural. Forgive. This forgiveness is to be marked by kindness, compassion, and relationship. This forgiveness gives the world hope, urges peace, and inspires friendship. Your motivation for offering the gift of forgiveness to others is your gratitude for the gift of forgiveness you've received from your great God. People who forgive tend to be the ones who remember most you remember most fondly. Why? Because they care about you. That compassion shows up in their willingness to follow God's example. Forgive when forgiveness is needed. Show compassion when help's needed. And offer kindness when friendship's simply a dream. That is probably one of the most vivid descriptions of what life would be like without forgiveness that I've ever read. But it's true. <clears throat> when you don't overlook an offense, it destroys friendships. That's what it says in Proverbs. There's no trust. There's no hope. Nothing. That is a very disturbing thought. Thank God for forgiveness. And I like what it said here. We want to follow God's example and forgive when forgiveness is needed because we are so grateful for the forgiveness we have received. I don't know. I love this week's topic because there's not a whole lot to add to it. But it also is really punctuating and pinpointing. It's breaking down forgiveness in ways that are a little bit more than just your basic forgive. I love it. All right, let's pray. <clears throat> Lord, our capacity for compassion could use some expansion. Help us, Lord, to display your empathy, your compassion, your forgiveness, your character in everything that we do, and especially with those who have offended us. Help us to feel for others when they are hurting and to look past, Father, through the eyes of grace, the offense, to see the hurt that may have caused the offense. We thank you, Lord, for not giving up on us. Give us eyes that see and ears that hear and hearts that are tender and compassionate towards others in Jesus' name. Well, God bless you and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I do hope you decide to like and subscribe and click the notification bell. Come back and check out some of the other content I have on my channel. 
A great big happy birthday to my sister-in-law, Angie. I hope you have a great birthday. And yesterday was my husband's uncle, Rocky, and my other sister-in-law, Shelly's birthday. So God bless you guys. I hope you've had a wonderful time and you guys have a great Thursday. God bless you and bye until next time.